Hey guys, welcome to another day out here on Sunset Acres. Today we're continuing our solar project on getting our solar electric fence installed. And the crazy thing about it today is that I've never been around cows and how we're gonna have to do this is we're gonna have to be on the inside of the fence where the cows are. So I'm praying that they don't chase me or just come near me because it freaks me out. So y'all come along, let's go get this done. So we're out here at the fence. What we're gonna be working on is we got these insulators. Can I see one of those? We got these insulators here. And what they're gonna do, this is gonna be our end piece. It's gonna go into the wood there and we'll tie it off. Then we're gonna tie it to a ratchet, um, which what that'll do is when we get the other end done, it's gonna tighten it to that pole nice and tight. And uh, we're gonna see if this works. I need a, uh, it's like a really big socket piece. Which I looked out and actually have one here, but that works that way. Mm -hmm. Who called my name? So I got a screwdriver I'm gonna try to stick in here.
you dump that on me. So we did figure out on the T-post when you're putting these little clamps here, um, do it in between the notches, not over the notch. I uh, couldn't figure out, I was like, it ain't working. So you gotta do it in between, but pro tip. We are trying to put the little, are the insulators <clears throat> on the T-post. So that's where we're at right now. We was taking a little break cause it's flipping hot out here. How hot do you think it's like? It's 100 degrees, right? I don't even know. I'm glad there's actually a breeze out here though. I think it's almost 100 degrees right now. <clears throat> it's like 98. I mean, if all the cows are in the shade, that's saying something, so. That's right, Mindy I mean, they need <laughs> to be in the shade too. <laughs> None of them have come up to us yet. I was, I was hoping they would. Brandon was not hoping they would. <laughs> I said, Brandon, they're, they're hot. They ain't gonna come over here. Yeah, and they literally avoided us and walked down the line. And to go get water. Dang, it sounds like Jurassic Park. It's like, so yeah, that's where we're at. We're just taking a quick break. So, been a hot one hope you guys have enjoyed this so far we actually had to take a break because it, gosh it was so hot i was dry even and everything <laughs> so anyways i'm fixing to get ready to go ahead and install the solar panel we're gonna work on this fence some more tomorrow after church and uh get it going down it's really not bad once we've gotten started i say that but let's just see <laughs> but uh we just got some more of those uh, clips to put on the um insulator clips to put on and then uh, run that wire and then we'll tighten it. So we'll see what happens. We bought some little ratchet things and I'll show you how those work because uh, I had to learn. But if you've never done this before, it's okay because I never have either. <laughs> and so we're doing this and, and look, I'm not giving you bad information either. I'm also confirming with uh, people who have done it to making sure I'm doing it right. But I want you to know that, hey, if you're an everyday person like I am, you've never done this, there's hope for you. You can do it. It's possible. <laughs> So even if you're as big as I am, it's possible. Just don't do it in 100 degree weather because my gosh, it was so hot earlier. Um, so here we go. Let me show you the system of what we're using. The um, the solar uh, controller is what they call it. Uh, I'm gonna show you, right? Here's the system. It's American Farmworks 18 mile. Um, <clears throat> point 20 output joules, point 25 storage joules. I have no clue what that even means. <clears throat> but what I do know, is it can power up to 18 miles since we're using that galvanized wire um, and not poly wire. We should have a great charge on it. Um, if you use poly wire, it said you'll lose like 50%. So like if you had a 10 mile solar device here and you use poly wire, you'd only get five miles worth if that helps you. But we're using galvanized, so we should be good. We got to make our way down this end here. We've done almost the whole, we've done almost the whole other side over there. But we're going to have to come through here around the cows and keep making our way down. This is where we finish. I think it's about a quarter mile. But man, oh man, when we get done with this, we still got another strain to do. And after we get that other strain done, we will be finished. Have you ever been doing something and you're like, nothing wants to make it be easy? Why are you the way that you are? Honestly, every time I try to do something fun 
or exciting, you make it not that way. Every freaking time I do something. Oh, oh, now you go. Okay, there we go. Yeah, look, dead. I swear I charged this recently. Oh my gosh. So something cool I learned on this thing. Look at this right here. Notice how uh, you got like summer and what are the other dates? Spring, fall, winter. It's kind of cool because you lift that up on there and this is what the unit attaches to. And it adjusts um, like how high or point it is in the sky. So I got it in a great spot right here because I mean, it's nothing but sun coming through. And you can actually take this and pick it up and turn it how you put it on there. And look at that. Just let you look at that. Put that Just on. look at that. So that's cool. I don't have a, uh, I need to go get a battery or use my screwdriver manually. What did they do without power drills back in the day? But what I'm going to do is actually hand do it, finish it up. Because I want to get this done before the sun goes down. I'm not waiting on this thing to charge up. It's only battery. So some of you may be wondering, how do you know if this thing is on? Well, I just removed the switch. It says stop. Because you need to get three days of charging before you do it. But watch this. Look, you see that? Beep, beep. There's your battery health there. I'm sure it'll tell you something you need to know. But if you also want to wonder if it's working, you just touch the wire and you'll know. But <laughs> I'm just kidding, don't touch that wire. But listen, you might can hear it. Did you hear it? It's like, <laughs> so anyways, that's how you know it's on, it's working. Um, I've had this in the back of the side by side, just catching sun. I clean it off and and let it do what it does. It's probably 90 something now, but it feels so much better than it did. We actually got a hurricane coming through. Like legit, I really want to get this done this weekend. I do not want to wait any longer. But in fact, Brandon did wait longer. So long that the fence was but a pipe dream, an electrical illusion, if you will. Ah, the distractions, social media, a must-see football game, and Sir Fluffington, the neighbor's cat demanding petting. Who could resist? The hurricane's approach, a mere suggestion to Brandon. You see, every delay is another delay. But hope, hope never dies. So why stay tuned? Because next time we face this peculiar task anew, the electric fence shall rise, and it shall be, dare I say, electrifying. Join us in the next video as we once again tempt fate, battle procrastination, and once again find a little self-motivation. Until then, stay hopeful. Stay tuned and don't trust a fart.